to everyone asking about my IV, yes, I'm fine. Um, it was more so for like cosmetic reasons um, and to rejuvenate after being on tour. So I feel great and I can't wait to take on today. Mwah. Are you okay now that you're prepared for the dealing? Oh, I don't know. Well, look at those shoes, Mary. They're, They're stunning. stunning. It's very Mew Mew. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> she doesn't talk anymore. <laughs> Spot a rich friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby, once upon a time from Britney Spears to Versace. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, surprise, it's me! So as most of you know, me and Ganja just moved in together here in Studio City, and we wanted to share a little bit of our hectic journey with you guys with our new web series, From the Hood to the Hills-ish. So we just released our very first video, and I want you guys to go over to my channel, Gia Gun Entertainment. Of course, subscribe now, but also check out the video and let us know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Go check out our video. <laughs> <laughs> to Belfast. We got Ivy Winters, we got Ginger Minj, we got Bob the Drag Queen, we got our dancer Isaiah, we got Kenny, 
Oh yes, Kenny. The Kenny. I've been touring through Europe and I've been staying in some cool hotels, but this one in Belfast it has washcloths. Because a lot of hotels don't have washcloths all the time. And I can finally scrub myself clean today. Hi guys, it's Morgan. Come visit me tonight at Mickey's at Showgirls. Uh, Raven, myself, Madame LeQueer, Raquel Lord, the amazing patio furniture, and Kimora Black. Come down and play with us. Hey guys, it's Morgan. This week on RuPaul's Drag Race's Facebook and Instagram, they are promoting mama, bitch. So get on there, show me all the love, all the hate, all the whatever. Love you. Do you hate me? Yep. Do you think I'm the ugliest drag queen in the world? Yeah. Do you think it was a waste of time having me on Drag Race All-Stars? Sure. Get on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Facebook and Instagram and tell them now. But I do need to get something off my chest. Oh. 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 Time travel, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm very, very excited. And I promise that I won't speak as long as I did last last time. But let's face it, there was a lot to say about Claire de Lune, so I was going to take my time. And now, I'd just like to say it has been an amazing journey. Of Leopard, with whom I used to do underground performances where we used to get raided by the police, ladies and gentlemen, and that's absolutely true. I would like to thank Chelsea Bond. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. So it was a lovely Christmas party, and oh, wow. Look how gorgeous I look. But even though it looks so gorgeous, it was better for me. It was better for me to take myself home before they asked me to leave. Ooh, oh, oh, um, yeah, oh, yes. Hey there. Waking up on a Tuesday morning with a hangover. Hello. <laughs> I just realized that I must have been so dehydrated while I was sleeping. Because I kept having dreams about soda water. Like I had about <laughs> all night, about five dreams, all different. <laughs> about that game. Need to get soda water. I do need to get soda water. I'm so dry. Ugh. I remember one dream where I was sitting at a table with friends at a restaurant and there was like a bottle of like soda water on the table for the table. And I drank the whole bottle and the waiter came around and they're like, what did it, another bottle for the table. And I was like, ah, no, I'll just have my own bottle, thanks. Just give me a full bottle myself. And then another one where I was in my house that I grew up in as a kid and um, I kept trying to leave because I needed to go and buy soda water. <laughs> and there was this whole dream about all these things that were happening that were preventing me from getting soda water. So I'm going to get up and get soda water. Mm. Ooh. 